Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Money Talks. This channel is all about how to make money, how to save money and how to grow your money, especially if you're living in the UAE. So welcome guys to my channel. I just want to say thank you guys for all the ones who subscribe to my channel. It's growing slowly and I'm really happy to see this. And today's video guys, I'm gonna talk about another cabin crew position that is actually open in the UAE. So if you are based in the UAE, if you are a resident or you're just a tourist who is looking for a job, this is gonna be a really, really good opportunity, guys, for you to apply for. It's not gonna take that much time from you. You can do everything online and then you can move to the next step if you are successful. So I did already post this uh, video about Fly Dubai and today's video is going to be a little bit similar uh, but different company which is gonna be about Emirates. So make sure guys to subscribe and these are my channel and now let's move on to Emirates. Emirates guys as you know is the national carrier in the UAE. Uh, they are really really big company. It's huge company and everyone knows uh, there's a lot of residents in the UAE who are actually working with Emirates. It doesn't matter if they are like uh, working as a cabin crew or pilots or uh, ground staff or there's too many stuff, too many positions uh, for this company. So uh, why not? You cannot be uh, one of them actually and you can find a good and suitable job for you, especially if you are looking for a good and stable job. Emirates is one of the top in the UAE and they don't require a lot of conditions. So uh, now let's see the process. As you know, guys, lately they just post a position, a vacancy uh, for cabin crew because the economy is doing well in the UAE. And as you know, UAE is really, really good in aviation sector. So uh, the aviation is returning to its normal days before the pandemic. So that's why they are trying to get as much stuff as they need because they know people they are fed up with these pandemic rules and restrictions and they cannot wait to start traveling so that's why the aviation sector is blooming right now all over the world especially in the uae in the gulf sector so now let's just go and see how you can apply just go guys to emirates websites this is the emirates website you go down and you search for careers all right this one so click on careers and now they will take you to a different section of their website which is emiratesgroupcareers.com you can go directly to this website if you want and then scroll down and you can see all of their sections and different types of works but just so you will not waste your time go directly to cabin crew and here you will see the requirements that they are asking for. So the requirements is at least you will be 21 years old, your arm reach 212 centimeters while standing on tiptoes, minimum heights of 160 centimeters, and this includes male and female, doesn't matter. Uh, you need to have a high school graduate degree and you need to be fluent in English, written and spoken. No visible tattoos can adapt to new people physically fit for this demand so you don't have any problem with the, your body and also you need to know how to swim because swimming is also mandatory I don't know why they are not putting it here but they actually test you for it so once you see this you're satisfied and you feel like you are suitable for this job you go and hit apply now they will take you to this page and you will have to accept this privacy agreement and hit next now you need to create a account with emirates uh, website careers website so uh, if you are new just put new user if you've already been applying to jobs with emirates you can just put your details here and go so i'm gonna put new user you go down and this is the things you need to fill so i'll fill this quickly All right, guys, so I already uh, create a link and now I am signed in, as you can see, guys, and this is what the next step is. So exactly similar like the video that I showed you about Fly Dubai. This also you need to fill your personal details, but here it's not that long, so it can be really quick. 
just fill your first name, last name, email address, country where your contact number, uh, phone number, country where you're staying right now. So better if it's the UAE, uh, where, where exactly in the country, date of birth, what is your nationality, and this is if you are already been working with Emirates, you can put your staff number. If you are not, you just put this NA, and uh, this one you can skip it. In employment notice period, this is if you're already working in the UAE and you need a notice period to quit your job, or if you are jobless, you don't have a job at the moment, you can put no notice necessary. So I'm going to fill all of this quickly, and I'm going to go to the next step. So guys, I fill the information and as you can see guys, I use a temporary email from here because I don't want to put my details as well. Everything here is fake, so I'm just trying to go to the next step. So I will show you guys the next step. So save and continue. Now you will have to attach documents to as to the other uh, steps. So the CV that you will have to put here, you need to put CV, a resume or whatever you call it. And you need to put also a picture of yourself. So photos and documents, you choose file from your computer. So I'm just gonna put a random picture and file name doesn't matter. It's not appropriate. So attach, it will be uploaded and it's gonna be shown here. And you can, if it's the resume, you can just tick here. And you need also to put a picture of you, but it's not mandatory. The, the important thing is the resume. So I'm just going to go save and continue. And now is the declaration. So you need to sign about all of this stuff. You can go ahead and read it, but it's just like agreements between you and Emirates. So just you put your full name here and the email address that you use. Okay. So you're going to click on save and continue and it will take you to the last step, which is actually reviewing all of the information that you already put and you have to submit. Okay. So I am not going to do that. Actually, I'm going to quit all of this because I don't need to submit these informations because they are not true. But uh, anyway, this is how you guys do everything. And now, I will tell you guys the tricks and the things that you need to take into consideration before actually going for the interview because if you did all of this in a correct way and even if you have a really fit profile for this position but you didn't present well, your interview was a disaster, you are not confident about this job, you will definitely fail. It's, uh, it's really something undiscussable because it's, uh, it's, it's clear they want perfect people. They want people who can manage the job perfectly because aviation is not like other sectors. Aviation is very, very important and they really care about the safety and the environment of uh, their workplace. So that's why they care about everyone who is being hired, especially who are going to be in the aircraft. It doesn't matter if it's a uh, cabin crew or pilots or any other aspect of the airplane they care a lot about who's gonna take this position so now i'm gonna take you guys some tips about your cv or your resume so these things you need to pay attention about this is how you need to fill your resume so first of all don't put too much work experience don't put too much uh like history about your work positions uh, that are not relevant to customer service because they are clear they want customer service experience. So that's it. So if you have worked in any position before and it is not related to uh, customer service, don't put it in your resume because it's useless. They don't care about it. They're just going to take time to see your experience. And if they see some irrelevant information, they will just skip and skip. So uh, pay attention also to the job description and the condition. So the first one that I show you before, before you apply, they put the job descriptions and the things that they need. So that's your keys to use for your resume. So show them that you already read the description in that everything that they're looking for, it's in your resume because they only pay attention to the things that they need, right? That's why they post that job. They show you the conditions and you need to show them that you are perfectly fit for this job and that's exactly what they're looking for, okay? And last but not least is the languages. 
as you know, being a flight attendant is very, very useful to speak languages. So make sure, guys, to put uh, at least two languages, like English for sure, in your native language. But if you have like extra languages that you can speak, it's gonna be a good advantage. And don't put like uh, when you put it in the resume, don't put like uh, written, speaking, reading, and all of this stuff. No, just define your level of that language. If it's fluent, if it's a native speaker or like uh, intermediate or beginner. So that's how you show them that you can speak the language or not. So this is all about the resume. And now let's talk about actually the interview. This is gonna be the last step or last section of this video. I'm gonna go about it very quick. Interview tips, guys, read a lot about the company because you are going for this company and you need to know all aspects of this company. Like uh, when they start flying, the first flight, any major problems with the company, like what they need, what they're looking for, if it's a low cost company, if it's a full service company, in this case, Emirates is full service. So you need to know what they're doing on board, how they are managing their customers, how they make the customers happy, like all of this kind of stuff, like where they're flying, where they go. Read a lot about the company because if you don't know anything about company, you will not be motivated to speak in the interview, especially in the final face-to-face -face interview, okay? Second thing is focus on safety. Safety is number one in aviation sector, so safety is always comes first. Uh, they will try to trick you with some situations on board and how they, you will deal with it and they will see how your reaction. So always, always choose safety because safety is number one, as I said, in aviation, okay? The third one is listen more and don't interrupt others, all right? In the job description, they were clear that they want people who communicate perfectly because communication is also part of uh, safety on board. So they need people who communicate well. They don't need issues on board. So be sure to listen a lot. Listen more than you talk, okay? Don't interrupt people when they're talking because in the final interview, they actually monitor all of the participants and they see how they talk and how they interact with each other. The fourth one is to have a perfect grooming standards, guys. Make sure to dress well, formally, okay, because you are going to interview with a big company, so you need to be formal. The last one is just avoid talking about the benefits of being cabin crew. This is a very, very bad mistake that I see a lot of people doing it in the final interview. When they go, they try to explain to the interviewer that they like flying, they like vacation, they like to go to different countries, meet new people. These kind of stuff are benefits of being a cabin crew, but the company itself doesn't care about you at that moment. They care about them. They want people who can fit their position, okay? So number one, as I can say, always safety. Don't talk about uh, your benefits or you want to travel more or all of this. This is just when they start hearing you talking about that stuff, they know you are not a perfect fit. They know you don't know about the real true uh, position about being a cabin crew so that's why they will eliminate you straight away because you are look you are actually when you telling them this kind of stuff you are just trying to take the job as a pleasure like uh, to satisfy yourself as if like you are going to have a vacation but in reality being a cabin crew it's not having a vacation you will have to work hard on board you need to do a lot of stuff you need to be a person who is reliable and in case there is an emergency on board, you will be a perfect fit and you know how to react, okay? So guys, that's all about this video. I hope you like these tips and tricks. I've been a flight attendant before, so I work in this position and I know exactly what they need. And they don't want people who look like uh, models or like they are perfectly appealing to the others. This is uh, wrong, this is not always the case. They like image, especially like uh, Emirates. They like to hire people who are looking good. But looking good doesn't mean you're physically perfect. It means that you are wearing good clothes. You have a perfect grooming styling. You know how to talk to people. You know how to communicate. So this is the thing that they look for. And uh, if you have these things, if you present to them that you have this kind of stuff, for sure they will accept you because they need a lot of people to work now especially nowadays the aviation industry is blooming 
so they need a lot of people and why not you can be one of them and enjoy the benefits that I already talked to you about here you have a lot of benefits actually when you are a cabin crew you have a lot of discounts in ticketing you have a uh, possibility to travel the world see different people you don't have to pay a lot of money to travel because everything is included so all of this included in your benefits as a cabin crew but don't mention this stuff on the interview itself okay thank you very much guys for watching this video i hope you like my explanations make sure guys to subscribe i would really really appreciate your support and if you have any question regardless on uh being a cabin crew or my experience in that field or if you have any questions about money or investments or anything make sure guys to watch my previous videos or comment below with a comment and i will be glad to help you guys thank you so much and have a nice day and good luck